Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We are going to be reviewing the new-ish, I think this is pretty new in my opinion, but it's the e.l.f. XJ Kissa to the palette, to the rescue eyeshadow palette. It is so gorgeous. It is rainbow. It is awesome. It's about rescue dog. No, there's nothing better than that. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up, um, leave a comment down below too. Um, I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and we're doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. So if you want to come join, definitely do it. Yeah, like I have content coming out like all the time. So tutorials, reviews, everything in between, you got it. So. Let's go ahead and get started. This palette comes with 18 shades. It retails for $20. Um, it came with a sticker sheet, which I love. Okay, looks like this. I actually used mine already. And I decorated my palette. I put my name and my dog's name because this is inspired. I did a little research on it. And it's inspired off the LA City Pitbull Rescue. And so this is what this looks like. Um, obviously this comes blank and white and you can decorate it and then on the inside it's totally rainbow I love that it has a beautiful mirror in it um, I haven't really experimented before th this palette with a ton of elf eyeshadows but I'm really kind of getting the feel of them and I'm pretty overall impressed with this palette I think kind of like my backstory like I have a pimple myself <sighs> He's not, he's a pit bull mix. So his name is Rascal and he's four years old. He's white and he has like a black round spot in his eye. Kind of reminds me of um, Snoopy. <laughs> he's, he's only part pit bull. So he's part pit bull, bulldog, um, Shih Tzu and Bichon Frise. And so he's got super duper short legs. He almost looks like a pit bull basset hound mix. And when we got him, we originally thought that's what he was because the Humane Association did not know what he was and so we ended up DNA testing him and learning all about him. I feel like I kind of have like a personal connection to this because like I totally like love adopting and rescuing and all that stuff and they actually named all these colors after dogs in the rescue so that is so so cool. There's like three different kinds of like styles going on with this palette and I'm trying to I'm trying to hold it without being without it being like super duper reflective because I'm sitting in front of a huge window and the first row we have here is your classic rainbow the second row is kind of a more like muted rainbow like rainbow but make it fashion kind of thing and then the third row is rainbow shimmer so we're gonna go through the swatches so the first row we have Casey Millie Yosemite Peaky Cannoli and Sadie. Second row, we have Pepper, Zuma, Paloma, Tank, Thatcher, and Pretty Girl. Third row, we have Strawberry, Suki, Firefly, Reagan, Bailey, and Confetti. Can I just say, like, these shimmers are super, super good quality. Um, they're so smooth, and they're just so glittery. They're a little bit chunky. We'll go into that. Overall, this is a great cause. I don't actually know of Jay Kissa. I've never really heard of her really just when I saw this on trend mood I just like I was so called to it like I really wanted it and there were a couple other releases that I wanted to so I got all those so I'm thinking about just doing like a, cl a classic rainbow eye like red orange yellow green blue purple I don't know would you guys I don't I think I'm thinking that's kind of what I want to do but I want to incorporate as many colors as possible so I think this is going to be a long video so let's go ahead and get started with the look I'm wearing this new elf blush today primer infused blush I also picked this up and it's in the shade always rosy this was the first time I used it today I don't know is it actually primer infused does it last longer we'll find out before we get started I wanted to mention that comparing like this palette the e.l.f. palette, um, I wanted to kind of find like other things that you can maybe compare it to and I found the BH Cosmetics Trendy in Tokyo palette. This one is a lot brighter than this one as you can tell it's more bright. I have a whole tutorial on this and I'll link it down below for you if you want to check it out. Now let's do this. So I'm kind of just thinking red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I think I'm first going to go with Casey which is just like red and I noticed with these mattes that they're really quite pigmented so I'm just going to kind of like place that color but you can just see look how that works and I'm just gonna buff the color out as well I was really impressed when swatching these I swatched these actually yesterday and 
I really noticed that they looked really nice. You can kind of tell though, it's kind of having a little bit of difficulty building up and it's kind of patching. So let's bring a little more up. And we're gonna buff out the edges. So I wonder if I went in too far because we still need room for the orange and the yellow. I'm gonna take the shade Millie, which is this orangey shade. I'm just gonna really get that on the brush, but you can just, there's a lot of stuff tapping off. So I'm going to pat, then I'm also gonna take some more and also blend it into the crease. Like that, I feel a little crazy. Cause I went in too far on the red in my opinion. Okay, I'm going back in with a clean brush and we're just gonna blend out some more. I mean, these kind of colors are a little harder to work with in general. So just keep that in mind. It didn't really say on the palette, on the box or on the palette whether this was like a pressed pigment. So I'm assuming it's not. And usually brighter shades like that can be pressed pigments or they're more likely to be. So that's that orange blended out. But you can kind of see, do have to build it up because it does kind of patch a little bit. But if you're okay with that, like this is a very nice rainbow palette. It doesn't like break the bank. So if you, that's not like super duper bothersome, we'll go on, we'll see what it's all about too. I'm taking a smaller brush like this and I'm going into Yosemite, which is the yellow. So this one I kind of had problems with in the whole swatching process. Like it wasn't really building up. But yellow, I've noticed that a lot. We're just kind of connecting everything together. And I did take a smaller brush since it was the inner part of our eye. You can just kind of tell right here. I personally would have wanted this to be a little more like brighter if I were the one creating this, but I'm not. That's okay. There's no hate, but I would probably prefer it to be a little brighter. I'm next gonna go in with pepper, which is like the darker red of the three. And I'm just going to kind of connect this and do the same thing on the lower lash line, kind of like I did in the eye. So I'm just first blending that out. Okay. I'm gonna go with the same brush and I'm just gonna take Zuma, which is the darker of the three oranges. This is more like the muted rainbow row. I noticed, um, I'm noticing, and I've noticed in the past, that the second row or the middle row really blends out nicely. And you can just see how the seamlessly that blended out. Going back into the deeper red, just kind of building that up a little more. And then I'm gonna take the yellow brush that I use and go into Paloma. And that's like more of like a mustardy yellow. And I blend that out. You can just see kind of how more easy this blended out versus this yes this we're taking more like space but this shows that that blended out really nicely so next what i want to do is i'm going to take the three shimmers and we're going to put them on top just so that we can literally use every shade in this palette for this look so i'm going with strawberry it's the shimmery metallic red and i'm patting that on the eye wow Okay, you can see right away we're getting some fallout. I'm next gonna take Suzuki. Suki, it's T-S-U-K-I. So I'm not really sure exactly how to pronounce that, but I really like this orange. It is so like citrusy. It has like a cool like goldeny duochrome too, which look at that on the lid. That is so fun. And you can see it in the swatch too, like it is such a unique color. Um, I'm next going to go into Firefly, which is the beautiful yellowy shape. Now, this is almost like the tone of yellow that I would have wanted originally for the matte for Yosemite. Like, Yosemite is a little darker on the eye than I would have expected it to be. But that is the red, orange, and yellow eye. Like, I love rainbows, and I think that this is a super fun palette. Should I do green, blue, purple or green, blue, purple? I think I might do it so it's like cohesive. So I'm gonna do green, blue, purple. So we're gonna start out with purple and we're gonna work our way in. I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm gonna go into the shade Sadie, which is this really pretty purple. So I'm just like packing that on. As you can tell, even for a purple, which purples, if you didn't know, are some of the hardest shades to create, ending pretty well. And I'm gonna 
learn my lesson and not go too far in. But I know it looks weird, but like you can see, there's just like a little bit of patch it, like patching right here. I'm gonna do the same thing we did before and just pack more color in. And that kind of, that turned out pretty well. I'm next gonna go with cannoli, which is like a brightish blue. And look how that just packed right on. So you see how that just blended on like super easy. So that blended on super easily. I, as you could tell, I could have, I had to like pack more on. I'm gonna take this brush now and we're gonna go into Peaky, which is this one. We're packing this on the inner part of the eye. As you can tell, it's blending on really, really nicely. I'm glad I gave it a little more like room, you know? So, we're gonna do the same process with the under eye here. I'm gonna first take, I think I'm gonna work just like out and like the idea before just so I don't mess anything up. So I'm gonna go with Pretty Girl, it's the darker purple. And then we're just gonna pack that on. You can just see how this packs on too. I should probably get more in the frame, right? But you can see how this packs on and blends out pretty okay. Um, I did notice with the shade it was a little hard to work with. That's kind of a downfall, but purples are more difficult to work with in general, so it's kind of like, mm. but at the same time, like, I feel like if I pay for something, I want it to, like, work. So we're going to go in with Thatcher, which is this beautiful, like, darker blue. This is so beautiful. Look at this on the brush. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to take this, and I'm, whoops, sorry, and I'm going to put this on the center of the lower lash line. Now this is one of those shades where it's like super duper pigmented. You have to be really careful. I did notice it was a little patchy. Just kinda being real with you guys here. So I'm gonna like blend this out a little bit. But you can kinda see up close, it is, these shades are a little more patchy than these ones. I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm gonna go with Tank, which is a deeper green. And then we're gonna put that on the lower part the inner part here. I'm really liking this eye better already. We're gonna have to put on the shimmers and stuff to really like get a feel for it. So we're gonna go in with Confetti, which is the purple. The shimmers just all around impressed me. I feel like if I were creating this palette, I'd want this to be not more, not so like, this purple to be not so like, it is a little more like dull, if you know what I mean. Like, let me just swatch it for you. Like this is the purple. I'd want it to be brighter almost, like a little brighter if I were creating this palette. Next we're gonna go with Bailey. Bailey I think is my favorite shade in the palette. It is so bright, beautiful, like awesome. Like look at that on the lid. Look how that just blends on. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I love this shade. And like when I swatched it too, I was just like, oh my God, this is beautiful. So we're going with Ragan, which is the green. And then we're just blending that out. So there we go, that's the look. I feel like if I were creating this palette, I'd want to add maybe like a couple different highlight shades, like brow bone shades or whatever, to for just specifically for that purpose, and maybe like a black as well. But overall, this is so beautiful. I really like this palette. I love a good rainbow palette any time of day. So yeah, we're gonna highlight the brow bone with a different eyeshadow palette. I'm just taking like a matte white from another palette and I'm just going to highlight the brow bone a little bit. I feel really crazy right now. We're gonna get some liner, some mascara on, and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna go with the Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick Liquid Liner. And I don't wanna disrupt this too much, so I'm doing a really thin line. I've also decided that I'm not going to do a wing, but I'm noticing I'm not, I don't have like too much fallout. Like I have a little bit of fallout. We'll We'll address that in a minute, but it's not super bad, which is awesome. Next, so I'm just going to brush this off. Not bad. I like it a lot. Oh my gosh, this is such a fun look. 
I have had so much fun creating this and even though it does take a little bit of time especially with a rainbow eye like this like last summer I did a rainbow eye tutorial and I'm gonna link that down below for you I really had fun and so I wanted to add this this is the elf liquid glitter shadow in disco queen and I wonder if I could pop this in the inner corner like just for fun like five bucks I think I got this mine from Target I really wanted to try these out and I had like a really cool look to it they're a lot smaller than like the Stila ones but chunky we'll, we'll try it anyways just for the sake of trying I, ha I didn't really know exactly what kind of look I was gonna do I thought about maybe putting this in the center of the lid but I like this better this is not as opaque as like a Stila liquid shadow it's not bad I'm deaf I definitely want to try this out a little more before I give like a final thoughts kind of thing but just in the center it's just like an extra like hello cute like I like it if you did not see my BH cosmetics palette review I'm gonna link that down below for you <laughs> we're doing a lot of reviews this month but I tried out the stellar lash from BH cosmetics and quite frankly I'm in love I love this it's 10 bucks for a full size I got a sample, like a free gift with purchase kind of thing at Ulta. Like just kind of piling this mascara on, it reminds me so much of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And this is cruelty free, like L'Oreal Lash Paradise is a really good dupe for it too, but it's not cruelty free. And I've kind of been like on the hunt for a really nice one because, you know, Too Faced Better Than Sex is like, I think 25 bucks, somewhere around there. And if you can get a dupe, this is really great. And it doesn't, you know, flake. It doesn't really smudge. Obviously, you know, let it dry. But I don't you just love this look? I love this look. I just, oh my gosh. I think it is so fun. This is kind of like, I don't know how I feel about this. Like letting it kind of dry. It's not like burning. It doesn't feel, it doesn't, just doesn't feel like it's supposed to be there. You know what I mean? Which side do you like better? Do you like warmer tones or do you like cooler tones? Let me know. I'm going to put on the Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin. Yes. Okay. I didn't know which one this was. I have some new like, like lip glosses from e.l.f. too. So I have these like beautiful lip lacquers right here. And then I have these, which is from the Retro in Paradise collection. I got these at Target and they're so beautiful. Like part of me wants to use one of these, I think. So I'm gonna use this one. But I can even get it open. Like I saw the palette and everything in person and I just didn't really like speak to me. Like it was kind of like, it's cute, but mm, like I don't really need to waste my money on it. And like, it's a really cool concept. I mean, like they took like, influencers and stuff and they made it together but i was really interested in the glosses and i really want the other ones too this is a really nice this is called retro paradise yeah and that's like a really nice like corally peachy shade this is in the shade tropical fruit punch looks like this this was five bucks mm. Mm, it has a nice like fruity smell to it i have much of like a like glitter to it which it has like a little bit of like a gold sheen to it. You can see like super up close. But it doesn't really like translate to much on the lips. I like the feeling of it though. That's for sure. I think I'm gonna try out the other one. We're gonna layer it all on top. This one is blue. <laughs> yes, um, this was in the shade Electric Lemonade. Um, I don't know how like, ah, uh, that's pretty sheer. That's like, that's like, mm. that doesn't really look good on top of it. It's, it doesn't really like show up as like blue or anything like that. Pretty much a clear gloss. Now that I have like so much makeup on, I'm ready. We're going to call it quits for the day. But this is what the final look looks like. I had so much fun creating it for you and having this time of my life doing this. Okay, I love this. Um, I'm definitely going to use this palette again. I think this is worth it. You do have to have some patience with some of the shades, though. Overall, you definitely need some patience with some of the shades. But if you're willing to kind of, like, put in the extra blend, that extra packing time, it should not be an issue for you. Overall, 20 bucks is definitely worth it. I love that you can decorate it, make it your own. I love that. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.